Sustainable investing has changed quite significantly over the last several years. Um, what used to be just simply excluding uh, particular sectors or stocks from your portfolio has evolved into uh, much more sophisticated practices, um, including positive screening, so really looking for those good companies as examples to, to, to uh, invest in. Um, we might uh, actively engage with the management significantly, uh, significantly which um, you know, is reaping rewards now um, in terms of how companies are managed from a sustainability perspective. Um, we, uh, there, there's the evolution of uh, more impactful investments or, or some sustainability themed funds. So there's plenty of different ways you can invest your money sustainably, whereas historically it was just about not investing in the bad companies. Sustainable investing has increased so significantly over, over the last few years um, that it's bound to bring some uh, problems and issues along with it. The one that keeps me awake the most at night is the prospect of greenwashing, where perhaps an asset owner or an asset manager or a corporate um, really starts to make up claims about their ESG credibility um, that really aren't backed up in fact. That, that really worries me because as soon as the underlying investor discovers this sort of thing uh, going on, um, they may lose faith in the whole, the whole investment style, if you like. So we've just closed uh, 2019 and it's a very significant period actually because now um, in the five years up to the end of 2019 um, actually the, the sustainable indices, so perhaps the Dow Jones Sustainability Index or the MSCI ESG leaders have actually outperformed their non-ESG indices which is really great. The first question I'm always asked um, on my journeys when I talk about this um, is are you giving up returns if you manage money in this way um, and actually I can very very clearly point now to the evidence that suggests no actually this is alpha enhancing rather than detracting. So Allianz Global Investors is an active manager um, and I strongly believe that's the way to, to run sustainable uh, investments. Of course, if you want to just match a benchmark, then clearly passive is the way for you. But if you want to actively outperform these benchmarks, clearly um, that's one, one element of, of the challenge. Um, but actually, um, by uh, careful stock selection and screening of companies from their environmental, social and governance uh, perspective, um, you can add significant societal alpha. So you can have a carbon footprint less than the index quite significantly or water intensity less than the index. Um, and I think that it more and more is what our clients want to see. Them.